Hello everyone and welcome back to Mega Man Battle Network 5 Kernel version of uh, Kernel version base cross only uh, here on the Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. My name is Moose and apparently I can't remember how to do an intro to save my life anymore. In the last episode, we made our way all the way through uh, the Gargoyle. Uh, no, we just got started to Liberation. That was like part one Liberation. That's it. We've been here. It's been not taking us like too long because we did a big folder at the beginning to make like a new folder for like whole battle thing we've got going on you know the whole the whole net battling thing right so that's 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 been what we've been doing then we've been doing the liberation but we've really been planning it through so if you guys want to check out the description down below there's a link to a playlist where you guys can watch all the way from episode one all the way down to here episode 28 29 something like that go check it out enjoy it have some fun and if you also down there, come join the Discord as well, because right now, as we're streaming live, you guys can come watch the gameplay before you see the commentary and all the parts where I pause at. You get all the in-behind-the-scenes action, too, as well. So, yeah, that's always fun. So, anyways, huge one-turn liberate over there. We're going to bring up Nerd McGee Simpman EXE, and we're going to liberate this bonus panel here just for a... art. Somehow, this guy keeps getting health back. Okay, no problem as of yet. Nightman coming up. So our EOD team of Nightman and Number Man are kind of doing their thing right now. Let's see. So we could get... I kind of want to maximize a Num use. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to liberate this whole panel. Uh, because, if, once again, if there's a trap and, num and Nightman gets paralyzed, it's not terrible. Like... That's not one of the worst traps that can happen to you in this game. Or if you get, like, another one. Okay, that was bad. I'm sad. Good. Darn it. I could have one turn liberated, man. Whatever. Fine. Uh, so if Number Man gets, or Night Man gets paralyzed, that's okay. It's not like the end of the world. And if he gets blown up, well, he doesn't take any damage. So, you know, by proxy, it's not it's not terrible to say. I want to get a nice number scan in here. No? Okay, I got an idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to get my mouse off the screen. Um, and then we're going to go attack this guy. Uh, let's use Colonel. Because I kind of feel like it. So we're going to use Colonel to take out this boss here. So Number Man can slip in a little bit better. You know, he can get a little bit more comfy. Come a little closer, Buckaroo. No, that's fine. I'm shy too sometimes. Uh... That's fine. It's a, it's a, it's a two-turn liberate. It's not the end of the world. I just mainly needed that to be gone, because now I want to take that out, squeeze Jerome in here for a huge number check, which is going to get us four item panels. And with four item panels, that's going to get us order points back. I, I hate that it gives number men the hearts, but we got the barrier key, which is kind of important, which opens us up for Cosmic Man, which allows us now just go ahead and realize that maybe we don't need the rest of everything else. So now we're going to long sword our way in. So we're going to long sword to the mystery area. Okay, and that will take us to another uh, item that we could potentially grab. Which would be super duper duper nice. Uh, and then we grab you guys. Okay, and then we grab this. Grab this. Oh, he went that way. Okay, no problemo. Okay, I'm just getting trolled right now. I'm more or less trolling myself, in all honesty. Okay, why am I moving like a jackass, though? Wow, that was really bad. Why did I... Why did I, like, play like that? That was super disappointing on my end. Like, that could have been so much better. And now I'm going to have to pay for the consequences of my actions in a weird way. 
Um, anyway, so back to long sorting that. That won't happen. Why? Why did I just play everything wrong there? I'm gonna blame it on the fact it's three in the morning. That that's that that's my mulligan here. Team lead raid thing. Go. Give me one turn liberate. Make make up for it. Okay, never mind. You lived. It's fine. All right, eat my jorts. That was what's supposed to happen. We just ignore the other thing. What if I just edit it and you guys just will never realize it? Okay. All right, nerd face. You're gonna liberate this for me. Thank you very much. Dude, I keep getting hearts with number, man. This is insane. Give other people health, man. Alrighty, so let's go over here and we're going to remove the items and traps and everything so that we can, you know, just take what we need, grab some Zenny, grab whatever. Uh, we're going to take Colonel over here and we are going to try to one turn liberate because if we one turn liberate, I should have done this with Tomahawk Man now thinking about it, but it's okay. We have opportunity. That's okay. Still got the one turn liberate. Um, so we get the one turn liberate. This opens us to attack black hole there. And that will be Tomahawk Man's duty. Okay, so we have the boomerang here. And we kinda have hmm. Okay. Start like this. Right, his, that was so silly of me. Wow, Tom Hawk, man, you sure are good at getting smoked. I'm dead, not dead. That was bad, but it's fine. Don't be a trap. Hey, cool. We got order points. Nice. All right. So we're going to take a minute here just to kind of recalculate and recalibrate, of course. So Nightman should be back. This is a bit of health after his paralysis. So you're going to pass. You're going to get some HP back. You're going to come all the way over here, and you're going to give me a big old pain in my face. Uh, damn. That's unfortunate. Okay, well, whatever. We'll numb check this. All right, we got some Zenny. All right. What we're going to do now is we're going to make our way over here. Nightman, I need you to do me a big old favor, big guy. You're gonna stand right here. Yep, you know exactly what we're doing here, team. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna bring you over here. And that's all I got. Now we're gonna screen divide. All right. That's going to open this up, and if these two happen to be attacked by Cosmic Man, that's okay. We have protection, sort of. I want to grab... Oh, God. Nice tornado. Once again, not really worried here about the one-turn liberate. It is okay if I do not get it. Take that. That's going to be a nice opening for us here. All right, so what we're actually going to do... Do I get advantage? Do I get advantage if I open this up too? I forget. Let's see. You know what? Or you know what? We're just going to pass here. We're going to pass here, so Mega Man's now full health. We have... 
very big. The Nightman's just gonna tank that as we need. And we're gonna bring now over Skippy to Skippy, everyone. Say hi, Skippy man. All right, so he's gonna come over here. And we're gonna tomahawk chop this, okay? Now that we tomahawk chop that, I think, I think we get boss advantage if I'm not, like we get area advantage if I'm not mistaken. Uh... Ooh, I shouldn't have done it like that. Oh yeah, right in the back. Okay. So that's going to leave Tomahawk Man to assist us there. And now, what we're going to do, we're going to go sacrifice this moron. Uh, because he's kind of done his job for us now. And he is going to be the first person to attack Cosmo Man. Um, so now that we're going to have Number Man open up, this will kind of just get in some squish damage here. Okay, so we don't get field advantage. So today I've learned, and that's okay. Learning is important. Uh, I want to grab all these tornadoes, actually. Ooh. Oh, I've got to go, like, really fast. Ooh, okay, okay. I... I've seen the errors of my way. That was kind of a waste, but it's okay. This is what Number Man's here is for. He's here for the weakening. Right? He, he's here to do this so I can learn what this guy's actually all about is, you know? Damn. Alright, so number man's out. That's fine. He's gonna be paralyzed. We did a little bit of damage. I'm not the biggest fan of playing with that. So let's go in right with the big hitter. We're gonna swing on in here with Mega Man. And let's see what we can do here. So first things first. Alrighty. Do do this in Gun Soul. Team leader is gonna be very nice here. All right. So, lead raid's going to be super nice. It's going to take us in here. We get kind of a free hit. That's going to come in. Hell's rolling is just absolutely chipping through him right now. Then we're going to take... There we go. Simple little combo. Ah, almost got one more Hell's rolling off. One more. So now, Colonel, you come in. So Colonel will swing on in here. Oh, if I attacked from that side, I would have gotten the fucking field advantage. Ah! Oh! I hate... It's fine. It really wouldn't have made too much difference. Mega Man did exactly what he needed to do. That was Cosmo Man, unironically, as I kind of make myself look like a mild idiot, which may have would have helped me with the tornadoes, honestly, in the beginning with Number Man. But I'm not going to be like, oh, no, I made, like, a critical error. So, whatever, you know. It's, it's not bad. I thought that the way I walked through it with the planning and everything was really good, personally. Uh, at least I like to walk you guys through what my brain is thinking and how I want to treat the squad and liberations. I understand there's like super meta things and everything else. Well, guess what? This is you're practically watching a blind pl playthrough of five. I am learning as we go. I remember in the DS version, you could swap navvies in and out of liberation missions. So. The big guy's gonna charge it. <laughs> All right. 
We got it. You're the dumb one. So there's like a big evil firewall here now. So now we got Number Soul, which is cool. Which I think if we use a like a plus 10 chip, I'm pretty sure. We get like that's how we change into Number Soul. I forget it did. It's okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. It was just a time to buy and now we have the clues. Okay, so pretty much the whole taking over the net thing was just a ploy to get more time for Dr. Regal to understand Dr. Hikari's report. And now we're with our girlfriend. Oh. Well, ah, look at that. They're all, they're all ha oh. Oh, I thought it'd be like, ta-da, it was me, Dio, all along, and then just Dio walks out. That's a JoJo's reference. Brother, who is this? Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot, we get Toad Man in this game. So, I thought for some reason Medi was a part of Team Colonel. No, she's a part of Team Proto Man. So we get Toad Man. Great. I love Toad Man. Anyways. That's kind of cool. I guess it's like something different, but Toad Man will be around at some point. Our phone is ringing. It's me. We need to talk. Come to Silent right away. Oh, he's like a terrible father. Alrighty, so let's take a look at this shmi mail we got. Numb soul. And then use power to throw a die bomb. That's a crazy name. Depends on the roll. Plus, let's you select 10 chips on the custom screen. Non-element attack chips are plus 10 damage too. Click like the battle in your favor. So that's actually a pretty good number. That's actually like a really good soul. If you think about it. Because like... Number man... Like... If we had plus 10, like, if we do a plus 10 deck, if, like, we potentially do a number man deck, right, and then we go by, like, element. So, if I'm not mistaken, that means, like, these chips all get plus 10, like, cannon, high cannon, like, the ones that have dot damage, right? These all get potentially plus 10, which wouldn't be bad, but, like, looking at this now, I don't, like, I could use Vulcan, Right, Vulcan would get a lot of damage. Bombs, like Energy Bomb would get a lot of damage. Uh, and then you also get 10 Custom as well, right? So you could kind of have a pretty interesting chip spread here, realistically. Like that could be a very strong Super Vulcan deck. Maybe we do a Number Man build. Because I can go right here and just buy like, where is it? Uh, I think it's a little lower. No, it wasn't all the way at the end. I think it was somewhere down here, if I'm not mistaken. But there's a Super Vulcan. We can buy Super Vulcan. Mini Boomers. Vulcans. Is I can buy Vulcan A's. I can have Vulcan D's. Vulcan A. Right? Uh, we're Super Vulcan. I know I can buy another one. Life Sync. There it is. Super Vulcan S. 
There we go. Now, in the potential chance, we could then, like, you even expand with more color points, right? And more color points just means more damage. But now I need to, like, to really make this work, I would need, like, Number Soul, Area Steel Star, or any Area Steel, Super Vulcans, and then color points. And then I just pretty much convert all that into a bunch of freaking damage and just output it like that. I'd be down. There's another area grab S in here. I think what we'll do is, because I don't plan on going for too much longer, because we just reached our normal episode length, we're actually going to go over here to Orin Island, because once again, for some odd reason, the red chip traders over here... Where, where is it exactly? Wait, what, where? It's over... It's up here? It's up here? It's up here? There's a chip trader here, right? No, I swear it's in the main area. Hey, Pride. Uh, am I tripping? I swear it's on Orin Island. Is it like hidden in Orin Island? Resident City. What? Why is my brain doing this to me? One second. Okay. I don't know why I remember receiving a comment saying, Hey, it's on Orin. It's clearly not. But let's cash in a bunch of chips, shall we? And kind of maybe just see what we get here. You know, I'm going to just make sure we kind of have like three of everything. And there's a secret to the chip trader, like to kind of focus the chip that you want. Or is it always just like random no matter what? Nightman chip getting back will be fine. Uh, let me give an extra rock cube. Slasher B. I will right, we'll do one more. Uh, I think we can give in a. Oh, they're already out. Good. Uh, I want to do things I can easily get back, or to kind of like barrier can go. Barrier 200 could actually stay. Uh, I don't know if I want to get rid of all the slow gauges just yet. I will get rid of this. This, because a Y chip doesn't seem that attractive to me personally. Uh, I think Boy Bomb can go as well. These two can go as well. Uh, this Hot Body can go. I didn't really like it. Uh... Eh, Slasher can go too. It's a it's a cool look. Okay, well, this game hates me. Anyways, thank you guys so much for joining this episode of Mega Man Battle Network 5 Kernel Base Cross Version Edition. Oh my god, I need sleep. Thank you guys so much for joining in. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you're new. Make sure you join the Discord, come have some fun, and remember, we're always connected. Bye bye.